Hi everyone, so this weekend has been a little bit of a disaster um, when it comes to um, the update of socializing with the horses, with the colts. Uh, so we have a mare here, which is actually my sister's mare, and uh, she is what you call the bad apple in the herd. So she's not trained, she is very easily spooked, and it is a job to catch her. We have all males, we have all these geldings, right? And uh, so with the mare coming into the equation, it was not a good idea because then now our geldings have been acting like studs. So um, I have been uh, putting in a lot of time this past two to three weeks now almost with the colts while they were in the round pen in the corral and then I turned them out with the other horses um, about a week and a half ago. And right off the bat, I realized that that might not have been a good idea because, okay, so here is a mare as we speak. Her name's Phoenix. She's beautiful. She's a beautiful paint horse. But, so she comes to me every morning only because she knows that I, um, you know, come with something good usually. And this is our 19-year-old standard bred gelding who's acting quite like a stud these days because he's think he thinks he's a big shot now because since there's a mare amidst all of these guys now so um we um so in the one week one and a half week that the little guys have been out with the big ones as well now the everyone's behavior has changed so this girl i'll show you a little bit she does not want to get caught well she's actually letting me pet her a little bit because she knows i'm behind the fence now if i was to come out here and if I was to come out and try to be close to her, she is just going to run. This is the closest that she ever lets anybody come to her. She needs a lot of work. Now, so the, so the farrier that came yesterday to do their, uh, the trim their hoops and stuff, we were only barely able to catch this guy and my Palomino, uh, the quarter horse. He's a little over a yearling now. The little guys who usually come to me as soon as they see me and they spend about an hour with me every day, um, as soon as they saw her running, she went up to them and kind of nudged them along and they started running around this huge field like I've never seen before. Tails up and everything. If they were to stand, she would come and nudge them again to move them again. So she could see that the other two have been caught and she was not going to let herself get caught or let them get caught. So it was terrible. We had the fairy come over to do five horses. She only got to do two. And uh, she is going to try and come again next weekend, depending on if we're able to catch the horses and have them ready to be trimmed. The plan now is that we're going to separate her. And once she's gone, she's out of the equation, I will have to start afresh with the little guys. Now, they will probably run if they see me coming because yesterday, it's like they didn't even know me. They saw me with the, the, the lead and the halter and they just, everyone just ran amok. So I'm going to put, I'm going to start things from zero again. I'm going to get um, one of these square bales. I'm going to pick them up. I'm going to take it into the round corral fence back over there and I'm going to put it in there. Then I'm going to wait for all of these horses to come inside and start socializing with them all over again basically. Just from ground zero we're, we're starting all over again. So wish me luck and I'll keep you guys updated on how things are going. So we have a lot of water seepage from this pipe over here and unfortunately uh, it is seeping right in the same direction as the corral. So under all of this snow that you see, it's frozen ice. And that is one other reason why the horses are now scared to step in that area because they slip. So I want, the, I want to gather these guys into the round corral. I've left them a trail of hay leading up to some very rich alfalfa bale mixed with some grass just so that they would go in and uh, you know treat themselves to it but I need to get them to go in the round corral first 
and so they had a little bit of that which I left for them and then they turned right back so let's see um, if this works hopefully it does the little guys over there they tried they slipped because they start slipping right around this area you see over here there's some exposed ice so under all of that snow we had some fresh snow fall early this morning under all of that fresh snow there's uh, thick ice and all through this area it's all icy let's see how this goes I am walking around uh, on this icy area here you see ice underneath it and the horses want to come but they're scared because I think they've slipped here a couple of times now this is me and my <clears throat> trail of hay uh, and this is where the horses are they just they're at the very edge but they're scared to step in and the funny thing is it's pretty clear like there's hardly any ice inside it's just up to the very edge over there so if if I so there's two things that I would like to do one of two things oh my gosh yes big guys here awesome I've been trying this for over half an hour now so see if I trap her then I would close the place awesome awesome so here she is <laughs> live on camera I'm gonna go around and I am going to close this so she is at least in here and my brother-in-law can hopefully come and catch her <sighs> let's see so good news guess who I caught so from the last video uh, she came in right and after she came in I started walking with her with the harness and the lead and I just walked around and walked around and walked around until I cornered her and as soon as I put the lead over her neck she submitted and that was awesome because now I have her haltered and she's eating and I gave her lots of love and lots of pets and I'm just gonna wait for my brother-in-law um, to come and fetch her and then I can let those other two in and they are going to be in here for the next few days and I'm going to be working with them lots and lots so we're starting from square one but look at this beautiful girl isn't she beautiful but very naughty all right so this is what is happening on week three uh, and we are starting afresh 